God damn it. A very small marking laters. Uh, Goldfield. One slash twenty ten carats Goldfield. One slash twenty ten carats Goldfield. Hello, people. AK is here. Today I will be extracting precious metals from very old watch bands. Exactly 500 grams of watch bands with gold fill top and stainless steel bottom. All watch bands have the same marking 1 slash 20 10 carats gold filled. On some watch bands, due to the age, the gold filled layer looks like thin gold plating. But on some watch bands, the gold layer is still good. On this one, a very poor gold layer. Like gold plating. Now I need to separate each gold part from the stainless steel. On the big bands this will be easy, but on the small ones it will be difficult. Jesus, this whole process of separating gold filled parts from stainless steel will take a long time. So people, believe it or not, I spent six hours. During this time, I watched three movies. Six hours I sitting on my ass and tearing gold parts from stainless steel. Oh, god damn it. So, from 500 grams of watch bands, I got 178 grams of gold filled material. Everything else is just stainless steel and some brass. Not much. Gold filled material is very magnetic, very magnetic. I'll have to use electrolyte today. Okay, people, the material is in the baker and I have already added 750 milliliters of water. Now, I need 200 milliliters of sulfuric acid to get the electrolyte. See, the solution reaction started right away because the material is magnetic. Now 250 milliliters of nitric acid and I will add nitric acid to the electrolyte by 50 milliliters. No need to rush. I think in two hours all the base metals will be dissolved. I hope. Everything dissolved quite quickly. It was nice surprise. I think I dissolved everything in one and a half hours. Filtration. Pretty thick layer of gold flakes. Very good. And in this uh, copper nitrate there should be silver. Because some uh, watch bands was with white gold. 
copper nitrate. I don't know how to say it correctly. Copper nitrate with silver nitrate. <laughs> and I didn't use all nitric acid, 50 milliliters left. And I will use this acid to make aqua regia to dissolve all gold flakes from this filter. Okay, filtration is over. Aqua Regia 50 milliliters, 150 milliliters hydrochloric acid, 200 milliliters of Aqua Regia. Gold flakes dissolving very well. Jesus, so many frogs outside. All gold flakes dissolved. And now filtration. And I'm going to... I want to try to extract silver from this solution. I'm not sure there's silver or not. Salt. Oh yeah! There are a lot of silver. Very good. Okay guys, I'm going to sleep. It's too late. 1.30 a.m. already. I just came home from work. Of course, filtration is over. A lot of dirt on the filter. Almost dark outside. Now I need to neutralize nitric acid. Urea. Oh, a lot of nitric. And I will precipitate gold with iron sulfate. There you go. And now I need to a little bit heat it. Okay, this is my silver chloride. And from this solution I will extract all the copper too. If someone is new on my channel and if you want to know how to extract copper from the solution, I will leave a link below, okay? Just click on the link and in that video you will understand how to extract copper from this solution. Hot water. I need to clean up, I need to wash my silver chloride three, four times in hot water. Okay, I washed silver chloride in hot water. Now my silver chloride is clean. Now I need to convert silver chloride into metallic silver. For that I need a little of hydrochloric acid and a pure zinc. Hydrochloric acid, pure zinc and nothing else. Okay, and this is gold from the gold field material. Hot water. Oh. 
hydrochloric acid. Very well. Thirty milliliters of hydrochloric acid and five milliliters of nitric acid, aqua regia. I believe it will be enough. I need to dissolve this gold one more time. Urea to neutralize nitric acid. Nice. And again filtration. Okay, filtration is over. Beautiful golden color of gold-free chlorides. Awesome. Now I will precipitate the gold with iron sulfate. There you go. Yeah, enough. I already can see some gold flakes. Now I need to heat the solution almost to boil. Hot water, silver is ready, now I need to remove all zinc from the silver, hydrochloric acid, and I'm going to boil my silver in hydrochloric acid. This brown uh, color, this is not gold, it's just uh, ferrous sulfate. Water. My gold very heavy. And now I'm going to boil my gold in hydrochloric acid. Silver is ready. Beautiful color of silver. Hot water. Hot water to remove hydrochloric acid. Ready. Beautiful color of the silver. Yellow color of the hydrochloric acid. Again, hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is not yellow. Gold looks pretty good. Nice color. Beautiful color. Actually, I want to boil it one more time in hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is clean. I want to save the acid for the next refining. Beautiful color. Hot water.
Awesome. Now all this powder need to be dried and melted into small buttons. Let's go. So people, one more time, if anyone is new to my channel and wants to know how I extract copper from this, from the solution, the link to video is below. In that video I show and explain how to extract copper from the solution. Got it? So from 178 grams of goldfield material I got 99 grams of copper. 99 grams minus 4 grams of plastic container. 95 grams of copper. Three po uh, three grams seven hundred thirty one milligrams. Three point seven grams of silver. There is a lot of borax on the silver. And this is not a problem for me, since I'm going to use my silver in cell in future. Awesome gold. Very, very shiny surface. Three grams, one hundred thirty milligrams. 3.1 grams of pure 24 carats gold. And I think this is very good. From 178 grams of material, I think it's good. Bye everyone.